what's going on everybody um uh today we're just gonna jump right into it um i'm i'm gonna do like some um show how i uh like how i transition how i change my drop bar settings while playing and like what i use these particular drop bar settings for so um so for starters like so i, I use these tip typically for high praise so we'll do you can do your just uh three four Like that high praise, like hallelujah, like everybody gets up, starts clapping their hands for any reason. So those are the drop bar settings I use for that. So um, you just pull out the first, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, the first six, all the way out to eight. Uh, no vibrator on this. You can, but I don't do it. And then um, when we're about to end, I just push in that second brown one and that black one. It, it removes the drive. And then when, if you want to get a little quieter, you just push in those last white ones. Then you can kind of get into like some talk music. you know push them all the way in you remove the bass you can get like a uh, some padding sound a video on like uh, some draw bar settings already um, I went over these this is how I get the old school and with the uh, v3 uh, vibrato it's like an old school sound I think I already went over the in the other video of like everything out. We don't really need to do that one. Um, what's another one that I used? Um, so if you want to play down an octave here, um, pretty common. Some people might do this. Gives you a little bit more room to right. Just a little bit more room to kind of chord, get you a, a higher pitch. Okay. Um, if you want it a little brighter, just pull out the last one. So just all the all the whites. Turn the vibrato off. I don't normally play like that, so it's kind of sloppy for me, but. And then if you want a little drive, you can pull up this first black one. Has a little drive, so if I just kind of hold this chord, see it. 
now it's kind of smoother. You got a little drive to it. Now, I don't typically pull them all out. It just kind of... It's almost like a full Hammond song. But you lose a little bit of tone. I don't hate it, though, actually. too bad so let me go back over here so we started with this one it almost sounds like this one yeah so that sounds exactly the same in my opinion um, it just gives you a higher octave if you want to play up here it might have a little bit more it sounds like it has a little bit more a little bit more tone to it. Yeah, and it's a little brighter, so a little less tone but brighter. I actually kind of like it now. So anyway, we started with this one. Um, first, uh, first six. When you want to kind of release some of that drive, I just push in the the first, the second brown one and this first black one here. And then into some talk music. Push them all in if you want to get kind of a, you know, a pad sound. Down and active. Exactly the same. But remember, this gives you a little bit more leeway. A little brighter. This is the same as using this. But this adds a lot of tone to it. A little bit of drive. some more drawbar settings that I use um, other than that that's pretty much it um, sometimes I'll kind of do this I'll leave that brown one in I'll pull these out to get more of a uh, like a some sort of um, like melody That's it. Um, 
let me know what job bar settings y'all use um give me some throw some numbers out there i'll try them out um you know i use kind of the, the basic you know uh full hammond That's a classic sound but uh yeah let me know what y'all use man um i'd like to try out some different sounds um obviously uh it it, it not every sound will work with everybody because of your play style the type, type of chords you use um but i think uh, maybe that's not true But yeah, um, anyway, thank you guys for joining in, uh, watching the video. Um, like and comment, subscribe. Um, other than that, man, y'all stay blessed.